Today we're taking a look at the very first racing game I ever played in my entire life. In fact, a little bit deeper than that, it's the first game I ever played in my entire life. It was on the Game Boy Advanced Corvette. The soundtrack of this game was incredible, as you can currently hear right now. But beyond all that, this game was just something else, man. So you had time trials, which is this right here. You also had your gallery where you could check out pictures. I'm not sure. I yeah. So the issue is, I have to get credits, and you get credits by basically beating some portions of the game. I had the game completely finished, uh, what else, you got records, options, and the Corvette challenge. Now we're gonna start this off, basically you have to beat races and you go around trying out all of the Corvette vehicles ever made, well obviously not 2022 Corvettes, but you guys get the point. So let's take a look at our very first thing so we have rally which is you have to reach the uh, finish line after doing the time trials the grand prix which is actually racing and then you had extra which reached the indicated speed before the finish line okay yo the nostalgia is getting crazy on this so here we are the roadster and of course you gotta go manual man gotta go manual this was the game I played. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You can't hold it down that much. Alright. So, the story of how I got this game. I was in America for uh, vacation and my uh, uncle, who was from uh, the land of the British, <laughs> he basically came down he's like, oh, you want to have this? And it was a Game Boy Advance with one game. And that game was literally this. Corvette. Uh, don't crash. And I crashed. Okay, you got the next checkpoint. But anyways, yeah, this game, I played it literally the entire trip. And even when I got home after that as well, I beat the game. <laughs> and like I said, it was the first racing game I ever had in my life. As I tried to... Oh, bro, I'm getting so bad at this. One thing I will admit, it's kind of different looking at graphics now. And... By the way, I think that's kind of why I'm not really that much of a fuss when it comes to graphics in modern racing games because this this is what I grew up on. This is literally what I grew up on. So like, why would I be mad? Oh, I'm gonna make this turn. Uh, you know, I thought I could take the outside, but. <laughs> but yeah, when you grow up on graphics like these, and you see modern graphics today, I don't think you really have any complaints. I mean, we've literally seen graphics evolve over this span of like 20 years because that's basically how long ago this game came out. In fact, to be fair, it might have been a little bit older than that. Don't even remember. I remember the gas stations you used to see there. Oh man. The night tunnels, yes. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Like, we have come a very long way from graphics, to be honest. Then you had splits where you could turn left or right. Oh man, it's funny. Like I don't remember. Like I remember most of the game. Oh, I should have break there. Yeah, but yeah. I don't remember much of the actual races themselves. But other than that, I do remember nearly the whole game. But we have a lot of work to do because you can get some pretty crazy vehicles. There's this one concept Corvette that you can unlock. Oh, don't hit the. I should probably break. I need to remember which one's uh, break. Okay, it's X. <laughs> I'm right there as the guy we have to beat. It looks like a blob, but yeah, there we go. Overtake, and that's it. So now we're ahead of the guy, and we should easily finish this race. And just to get back on the topic of graphics, like, I think the thing is, like, nowadays, people are just kind of, uh, well, not really people, I just say, like, this new generation. Oh, the city area. Oh my god, I remember this. But yeah, like, people nowadays are just kind of entitled, I guess, because whereas we have grown up on games that look like this, <laughs> others have grown up on games that really look like Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5 may have been their very first racing game. Forza Horizon 4 could have been the first racing game. And you know, when you see stuff like that, you can't really appreciate what games look like when they come out, so... I think it's just a younger generation that's kind of been on this thing with oh graphics this graphics that when people like us 
we've always kind of been on a gameplay orientated thing because graphics were never really primary at all. In fact, one could argue graphics might not even be secondary. Well, I did not need to downshift there. <laughs> but nonetheless, excellent. Thank you. There we go. But the soundtrack of this game was mint. In fact, to be fair, a lot of games nowadays, well, not no, nowadays, <laughs> back then, the soundtracks were crazy. So we'll continue that. Now we got our credits. So once you unlock all of these, uh, basically what happens is you end up getting to the next stage. So let's go to the Grand Prix. I don't have any other cars because, well, obviously, this is a car class. Let's go through this one and see how we do. All right, here we are at the racetrack, though. Let's see if we can win this. And the funny thing is, I actually, when I searched up this game uh, to play it for a video, I found out, did you guys know? You maybe you didn't know, but what I had found out was that this game released on a PC and PlayStation 2, if I remember correctly. And Xbox, uh, I think it was Xbox 360 at the time. I'll have to look at it again, but yeah. And the thing is, oh, oh, no way I got, that, that's crazy. <laughs> Bruh, all right, no worries. Yo, we gotta get first though. The last time I checked, this game was on PC. So we're gonna have to try this out on PC in this video because I have no idea what it looks like or even if it's the same features or anything. Yo, that just looks like one blob combining. All right, here we go. On, on the outside. Come on. Let's overtake. Little grass animations. <laughs> Passing someone again. Ooh. Now that's a nice Corvette. I'll see you later. No brakes. Oh, yo, there's a guy. I'm gonna let off the throttle there. First place, here we go. Can we get this? Yo, gotta go on the outside here. There we go, first place, boys. As we just kind of cut him off on the uh, extra corner. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, bro, I was having so much fun on this game as a kid. <laughs> Even now, I still kind of am having a lot of fun. Is it just nostalgia factor? Don't really know, but hey. Finish line coming up, I'm pretty sure now. And that's it. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Like, bro, who makes these soundtracks for games? Damn. All right. So let's hit down the extra, and then we can unlock a new uh, area of the map. I don't think it states, but only car we have, like I told you. All right, reach the indicate speed before the finish line. And as you can see, we got the launch right this time. Okay, there we go. We reach the speed now. Now all we have to do is get to the finish line, which, oh, is right there. Damn, okay. Well, that was pretty quick. So that's that. Now, once you unlock this, new car. Okay, the Corvette 1960. So that's basically how you did this game. So you remember the gallery, right? If we go here, let's buy something for, here we go. This is what you unlocked with your credits. Come on. So you'll be able to get little gallery pictures of the Corvettes. How many more credits do we have? You have 250. And here's another gallery picture of it. And it's just little small things like this, man. It made your progression of the game like worth a while. I loved it. So now that I've done that, let's actually go ahead and check out the PC version of this game because I never played it. I'm quite interested to see what it's like. Okay, so here we are on the PC version of Corvette. Let's see what this game is like. Okay, so take a look at the game. We have View Movies, which, uh... Okay, so you have to unlock these in order to get them. Other than that, you only have these two. Uh, View Trophies. Again, we have to unlock these. Uh, multiplayer. LAN or split screen. Special modes. Hot lap. Finish first and all C2. Yo, there's a lot. Route 66 checkpoint. Mother Road Endurance. Um, also, you know, while I'm here, let's change the video aspect ratio. And then you got career mode, which, okay, let's try this out. And just, oh my God. <laughs> Graphics are, to be fair, I'm running this on a PC where, you know, 
a Game Boy couldn't do this. But this is what I mean, bro. I grew up on a Game Boy Advance game. Graphics don't really get much better than that. So here we are now. Damn. Now I put up uh, AI to hard or the hardest level, if I remember correctly. Although, again, we're on amateur, so I'm not sure what else we could do. Let's check out the view modes. Different cameras here. Oh, we got a. Oh, I forgot. The, this is such a specific name for this. For having UI that's built on the real life vehicle. But you guys, listen, TD2 fans know what I'm talking about. In fact, TD2 fans in general. Let's see. You can't really rotate the camera around, but I don't think anyone's really going to care about that. It's funny enough, guys, I had a PS2, but I don't ever remember this game. And again, I'm pretty sure because I'm on PC, this game looks better than what the PS2 version looked like. But uh, yeah, and by the way, that's what the track looks like. So not really a uh, great thing to say, oh, you know, let's try out the physics. But uh, <laughs> well, to run this, I want to check out Arcade. Oh, the, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Well, I can kind of figure out the uh, physics on grass. You know, we got to try and win this one. I think this is coming up now. Yep. Checkpoint. Okay, we'll take that win. Not bad. All right, so that's that. Ooh, what's this? You have one upgrade level. There's upgrades. Yo, what is this game? Why have I not heard about this? New color. Watch re. There was a replay mode. Damn. I'm not sure how to use it though. We'll continue. So now we unlocked. Oh, okay. So it's kind of similar. Unlock races to get to the next stage, all the way up to the C5 Corvette, and all the way over there. Fair enough. All right. So let's try this. We'll, we'll run down two laps here. C3 Corvette. I'm going to have to choose red again. I apologize for all of you guys. Uh, let's see. Damn. Okay. Off road sections. All right. Damn. I don't think there's off-road sections in the Game Boy Advance version, but uh, let's see what we do here. The city is, I assume, familiar. Oh, okay. Oh, and traffic as well. Whoa, where is he going? It's time break. Yo, physics are... Except that time I got knocked. I think he puts his hand up when he uh, hits something. Yeah, yo, I mean, granted it grips, but... I do quite like the physics here. So we can go through this off-road section. Oh, yo, did we just pass him? What happened? Yo, we crashed into something. <laughs> I crashed into someone as well. My bad, my bad. Let me try out the other cam. I wonder if it'll have the... Uh... Oh, yeah, it does. It has all the speedometer for this vehicle as well. Quite nice, quite nice. You head back to this screen, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, yo, for a second, I was like, why am I? Oh, yeah, reverse. All right, we're going to turn this way again. Oh, wait, is that a police car? Yo, what on earth? What is happening? Is the police car OK? I gotta focus on the race though. But there's police in this game. Yo, this might be a very close race. Unsure who's gonna win. Finish line, I think, is after this straight. I think it's a right turn. And then another straight. Here we are. Can I make my final turns count? Oh, I don't need to. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll take the win in the bag. Okay, so that's that, guys. I might be playing this behind camera, but uh, if you guys want to see another episode of this, let me know. I have no problem continuing this series whatsoever. There's a lot I can unlock here. A lot of different tracks, a lot of content, so I don't mind at all. I just have to figure out what the police, like, what, like, what are, what are they doing there? You know, I got to figure that out. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe for more racing and content. I'm Log7. See you guys in the video. I'm out, guys. Peace.